the steady state matrix of a Markov chain. So here we uh, look at the possibility that uh, after you keep on running the iterations of the Markov chains, is it possible to reach uh, a limit? And if if that is the case, then that limit uh, is uh, said to be the steady state. That is, that the Markov chain achieves a steady state. Uh, here, um, a Markov chain is said to reach that steady state. If we don't change P, the product P to the N times X, uh, where X is that initial state approaches some limit that we call X with a hat on it. In order for a Markov chain, this is important, in order for a Markov chain to achieve a steady state, the matrix P must possess the property called regular. A stochastic matrix P is said to be regular when some, any one uh, power of P has only positive entries. And, and and, and here is the inside uh, scoop with that. You know, the definition theory talks about only positive entries. That also really means that you don't want to have any zero entries. The zeros are the kickers. So to find uh, the steady state, uh, solve here uh, this uh, system, uh, Px equal to x, and also x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus and so on to x sub n equal to 1. Solve these simultaneously. Uh, the values x sub 1 to x sub n would form, therefore, the steady state. If p is not regular, then the, the values uh, for x will be infinitely many. And we have an example for each one. So uh, without further ado, let's look at this. So first, it says determine uh, whether the stochastic uh, matrix uh, P is regular. What makes it uh, stochastic? That is that each column, uh, each column uh, sum sums up to to one, right? So um, so here, in order to uh, determine whether or not uh, P is regular. You take the matrix and on your graphing calculator and you look at uh, the power. Uh, let's raise it to the second power and uh, you look at that. Um, look at, if necessary, the third power. But the definition says that um, if any power uh, does does not have or that it does have positive entries, and I was going to say it does not have any zero entries, then uh, the matrix is said to be uh, regular. Um, I don't think I checked this one, so let me let me do that real quick on my graphing calculator. I need to erase that so I can actually see it. So I'm just going to uh, enter these terms. And then I'm going to raise the power. The second power here gives me point sixteen, point eighty four, point twelve, point eighty eight. Notice that even after raising the power, the even the the next um, matrix, the second power, still remained a stochastic matrix. Uh, all of his entries are positive uh, and uh, non-zero, so, so P is regular. So now if P is regular, we want to find the steady state. Now watch this. If P is not regular, you can find the steady state, but it's going to be based on infinitely many solutions. So there is a certain uh, uh, sector in mathematics and probability where even that's useful. Okay, but uh, we'll look at uh, both situations. So here, what we have is 
um, we look at solve p times x is equal to x. So we want to solve this. <coughs> so this implies that when I multiply this out, I have point three zero point seven zero point one zero point nine times here x sub 1 x sub 2 we set that equal to x sub 1 x sub 2 that looks like point 3 times x sub 1 plus just multiplying row times column plus point 1 times x sub 2 is equal to x sub 1 do the second uh, row Point seven. This is x sub one. Point seven times x sub one plus point nine times x sub two is equal to x sub two. And then also you need to have x sub one plus x sub two is equal to one. That forces uh, these entries to be conformed to a probability state. Okay. So now I'm going to subtract the uh, x of 1 and x of 2 on both sides so that gives me negative 0 0.7 x of 1 plus 0.1 x of 2 is equal to 0 this is 0 0.7 x of 1 minus 0 0.1 x of 2 is equal to 0 and then x of 1 plus x of 2 is equal to 1. Now I'll put this in my my calculator and I solve that. So so in the in my calculator I'm using RR row reduce echelon form. Now, think the entry this is the TI 89 it's going to pull this up and then you input the bracket and then I'm, I input 0 0.7 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 and then semicolon semicolon ends this this row then I'll start with the next row 0 0.7 the calculator comma negative 0 0.1 comma zero semicolon and then one comma one comma one close the bracket close the parentheses now when you do that uh, in your your calculator it spits out the results my calculator gave me x of one is zero point one two five x of two is zero point eight seven five now that's the same thing as 1 over 8 and 7 over 8 because this is 1, 2, 5 over tens hundred thousands. Reduce that. 125 goes into 125 one time and 125 goes into 1,000 eight times. Right? You can leave the answer as decimal and put that in where beside that's fine too. 875 divided by 1,000 and that just gives you seven eight. Notice that the top numbers add up. You get one, you get a thousand, and so um, if this is one over eight. Then obviously this has to be to finish that pi. This has to be seven over eight. And, and these are the entries there for that steady state. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Let's look at the next one. Here you want to determine whether or not this matrix is um, 
is regular. Now, I looked at p to the second power on my graph and calculator, and this gave me one zero 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 one zero zero point zero nine two five zero point one eight five and zero point seven two two five. So it was the zeros right that threw us off that made this uh this matrix uh not regular. Well you got it. it here it says find then find the steady state matrix of the Marco chain with matrix of transition probabilities P um, but it's not regular so here it says if the system has an infinite number of solutions express x1 x2 x3 in terms of of the parameter T what they should be saying is that if the uh, matrix is not regular then find the steady state based on the infinite solution set so that and, and maybe even my wording is probably not right so um, so we're going to solve p times x equal to x so we have this p matrix times x equal to x and then we also look at x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3 equal to 1. You just base that based on the um, uh, on the number of columns you have uh, for P. Now P is always going to be a square matrix so P is always you know some n by n matrix. So so how many x's you're going to have here for that last equation is just based on n. So if I can just write that out, here's what we have. You end up with 1 times x of 1 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.05 times x of 3 is equal to x of 1. I, I'm working this out. Okay. That next row is 1 times x of 2 plus 0. 1 sorry times x of 3 is equal to x of 2 and that last one is 0 0.85 times x of 3 is equal to x of 3 and then we have x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3 do a little better and align at x sub 2 plus x sub 3 is equal to 1. So now I solve that I'm going to subtract uh, this, just, this is the highlighted word, I'm going to subtract that x sub 1 on both sides, subtract x sub 2 on both sides, subtract x sub 3 on both sides. Uh, red, red, red. So x, that's x sub 1 minus x sub 1, that just cancels out. So I have left is 0 0.05 times x sub 3 x of 2 minus x of 2 cancels out. All I have left is 0 0.1 times x of 3. Oh, I'm sorry, that's equal to 0. Sorry, equal to 0. I'm going to finish that equation out. Here, um, subtract this x of 3 on both sides, and I get negative 0 0.15 x of 3 is equal to 0. And then I have on the bottom x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x sub 3 is equal to 1 and when you look at that these three equations simply spell out that x sub 3 is equal to 0 right if x sub 3 is 0 then I plug in x sub 3 to be 0 here and when you do that you end up with this implies that x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to 1 Right, so this is all I'm left with one equation with two unknowns. So here, let x of 2 equal to t, t is any real number, 
so this implies then that x sub 1 is equal to 1 minus x sub 2 or well that's 1 minus t so here x hat which is equal to some x sub 1 x sub 2 x sub 3 x of 1 is 1 minus t, x of 2 is t, and then x of 3 is 0. And you get that. Right? 1 minus t, t, and then 0. Again, um, Miss Hendricks, again, English teacher from many years ago, bless her heart, she was very proper, and we had some very proper teachers. Um, this is not really a steady state uh, because it's not regular if the definition for the steady state is defined on a regular matrix but here we just found that this uh, matrix is not regular because any power um, where we get entries that are either um, negative which you, you typically you won't have with the idea the goal is not to have any zero entries and we got four of them right so um, we're going to stop there and then we'll come back for the last part and talk about uh, absorbing uh, Marco chains, right? Does that sound like let's get rid of them? Yeah, let's get rid of them like for good, right? <laughs> well, uh, come back for just a little bit more and, um, and then uh, we will do what James Brown said and that was we'll take it to the bridge.